Okay, let's talk about our patient today. Our patient today is a dentist. Young lady, a preeminent lecturer. A dental hygienist from Bulgaria. Buffalo, New York. Atlanta, Oklahoma, Vancouver, Canada, Boston, Kansas City, San Francisco, Montreal, Munich, Germany, London, and Santa Maria, California. Now we're going to place 14 lumineers, 8 lumineers, 10 lumineers, 6 lumineers, 10, 2, 8, 8, 10, 10, 8, 10, 8 lumineers today on our patient. And now we're not treating teeth anymore. We're treating smiles. Isn't that beautiful? So let's look at the transformation from where we started and where we are. Our patient today is an example of that. This patient accidentally chipped both central incisors, which caused a great deal of physical and emotional sensitivity. Today, lumineers will solve both problems with no shots, pain, and no drilling. Due to her accident, sensitive tooth pulp was exposed. Prior to placing the lumineers, all exposed areas were restored with Gerastor. Gerastor is a biocompatible restorative material that can reduce sensitivity when treating traumatic wounds. After protecting the pulp with Gerastor and Tenure, an impression is taken and the lumineers are fabricated. At placement, the teeth are cleaned and acid etched with Etch and Seal Medium Viscosity Etchant. Leave the etchant for 10 to 20 seconds, then rinse thoroughly and air dry. Paint each tooth with Tenure A and B, a self-cured adhesive bonding agent. After a few seconds, a shiny appearance on the tooth surface should be seen. Apply a layer of Tenure S unfilled resin to the teeth to protect against moisture contamination. Remember, do not light cure until the lumineers have been placed on the teeth. Seat the lumineers on the teeth using Ultra Bond Plus resin cement with enough force to extrude all excess resin. Clean up excess cement with a brush dipped in Tenure S unfilled resin, then spot cure with the sapphire light and the 2 mm tacking tip for one second per tooth. The remaining uncured cement can then be brushed away before final curing. Note, there is no need for interproximal matrix strips. Using this tack and cleanup technique will reduce finishing time by 50%. Full cure is achieved with the sapphire light and the 9 mm curing tip for 5 seconds per tooth. The cured composite resin on the lumineer surface is easily removed using a Sure 349 instrument, which will not damage the porcelain glaze. Note, do not use a hygienist's scaling instrument as it will scratch the porcelain. The remaining excess cement adjacent to the laminate is removed using a flame-shaped 12-fluted burr. This burr will selectively remove the cured cement without damaging the glazed porcelain. All overhangs must be removed during the finishing process. The football-shaped diamond is used to feather the incisal edge into the existing tooth. Use an ultra-fine diamond to feather the gingival margins to a smooth, seamless margin. Four power magnification is essential for this technique as smooth, seamless margins are necessary for an aesthetic appearance and long-term periodontal health. Because the lumineers are bonded without the use of matrix strips, the interproximal contacts have been fused together. It is very important to open these contacts. The gross excess is removed using the 12 fluted burr and the contact is opened through the use of a Sarasaw, an interproximal dental tool. Any rough edges in the interproximal are smoothed with the use of a Sarah sander, a one-sided fine grit polishing strip in an easy to use handle. Before releasing the patient, adjust the occlusion in centric throughout all excursive contacts. Proper occlusion on natural tooth surface will help ensure long-term success. This technique for placing multiple lumineers demonstrated in this video provides you with substantial advantages.
Tooth structure on this young patient is preserved, and the procedure is simple and time efficient. Serenate restorations are exceptionally beautiful in appearance, and Serenate porcelain has been clinically proven in tens of thousands of cases to be exceptionally durable and reliable. Um, I was at a football game and a piece of candy was thrown off a float and it hit me in the mouth and it cracked two of my front teeth. Um, I was a little self-conscious at first because I didn't know like how I looked and they were all pointy and like it kind of hurt afterwards so I didn't know what to expect. When he was doing it, it didn't hurt at all and then I was surprised to see how good they looked. Thank you for doing my teeth because it was just something I can tell about for the rest of my life and it was just amazing how he could do it with no pain or shots.